I'm Brian Montgomery. Today I'm joined by junior Kendall Hoffman of the Allegheny Women's Basketball Team, this week's Allegheny Female Athlete of the Week. Kendall, congratulations on the honor. Thank you. Um, a very strong week for you, performing very well for the Gators in their really busy three-game schedule, most notably notching a double-double against Carnegie Mellon. Uh, pretty much you're averaging above 10 points, just about 10 rebounds a game. How were you able to perform so well on both sides of the court? I mean, Carnegie Mellon was, I mean, that was a tough game for us, probably the toughest game that we've seen this season so far. So that was just about adjusting to the game. We knew um, our outside shots weren't as on as we had hoped. So that was just about getting into the paint. And my teammates were really setting me up for perfect, perfect driving lanes and perfect um, lanes to kick the ball back out to them. And then on the rebounding side, we've just been really stressing rebounding in practice a lot since we are a smaller team, which we saw against Carnegie Mellon. So just going hard in practice and my teammates really pushing me um, that's about it. Yeah, and then even though you did suffer an unfortunate setback to Carnegie Mellon, you did pick up two outstanding wins, first against Chatham and then against Grove City. Pretty much the moniker for this team has been the offense so far this season, kind of adjusting also to the amount of turnovers that the team has forced. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that this team is a little bit of a smaller lineup. It must be good to see that this team early on is able to kind of put large numbers on the board as well as force the turnovers from the opposite teams. Yeah, our press has like really been a savior for us. Um, we do much better when we don't have to set up in our offensive um, half-court offense. When we can force turnovers and get those quick points on the fast break, um, that's how we're putting up the big numbers, just really forcing teams into turnovers, making some chaos, and going down fast breaks. That's about it. Yeah, and then for you, you come into your junior season, you know, you lose a couple of uh, forwards from last year, you, you yourself and Emma Pelicano kind of being the ones that are assuming those starting roles. Mm -hmm. For you in the offseason, how did you really prepare to be one of these starting forwards moving into the 2013-14 campaign? Yeah, it's, it's a little different for me. Um, the, for the past two years, I've pretty much been a three guard, sometimes a two guard. So it is a little bit of an adjustment. But during um, open gyms and the first couple of practices, I know Emma and myself, we just really worked hard to work with the forwards. Um, so we have Kate Fromnick, Ify, uh, a couple, all of the freshmen pretty much, except Maggie Zimmerman. They are all forwards. So we just worked hard with them, uh, working on our post defense, working on our post moves, and just getting in the weight room in the off season to really help us prepare to play those uh, forward spots. And then this upcoming weekend, the Gators will be traveling to Ohio for the Denison Classic Tournament. You will see the Big Red a little bit down the road, but you're going to take a quick break and Take a look at two other schools. First off, Case Western Reserve, followed by Muskingum. Kind of talk about how the Gators were approaching this matchup. Two teams not necessarily familiar with, mm -hmm. but still two outstanding challenges ahead. Yeah, as you mentioned, we don't really know that much about them. Coach, Coach will have some good scouts on them so that we can really prepare. Um, but we just got to take them how we've taken every other team. We know they're both great teams, and they'll be a good test for us. Um, as we get closer to actually playing in the conference. So we'll just take them how, how we've taken every other team, just work about uh, work on our press, work on our 2-3, work on our half court, everything that we've been doing thus far, and put it to test against some great teams. All right, well, Kendall, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, best you. of luck to you this thank upcoming you. weekend. And Gator fans, be sure to keep it locked in to AlleghenyGators.com for all your up-to-date Gators info.